In a strict sense, I don't believe there's any definition of poetry that applies to all poets. Different poets have different goals, different poets have different things in their hearts that they're trying to express in different ways that they want to express them. Are my videos where I'm running around in the woods talking about YOLO and dogs and dads, are these really poetry? Why I call them poetry? And I struggled with that for a long time. A blog can change somebody's lives and a poem can change somebody's life. And the point for me isn't whether it's a blog or a poem, the point for me is changing people's lives. But I think I identify as a poet. I want to be a poet because of the whole romantic tradition that it invokes. I want to be in the same category as John Keats. I want to be in the same category as Walt Whitman. Because these are people who, in their human life, said, I am alive. What does it mean? What am I doing here? What can I do about it? These are people who felt so much and wanted to communicate it and needed to communicate it to people. And the way that they communicated it was in books because that's how people communicated what was in their heart in the 1800s. We don't just have the opportunity to produce books for people now, we have the opportunity to be in people's lives every day. When people wake up and check their phone and they're scrolling through their Twitter, they can get your poetry right then. You get to reach people with lines of poetry immediately when they wake up and on their lunch break every day and before bed at night when they're scrolling through and you get to be, you get to be right next to their friends, their family members. They're reading updates from their mom and then they read an update from you, the poet. You get to be in people's lives on such a, such a crazy level. This is the dream. This is the dream for poets. For somebody who feels, somebody who has something to communicate, this is the dream. My friend just texted me a picture of the sunset. Well, the sun's not setting here yet, I'm in a different time zone. Well, I have about an hour to get ready. My mind is now on the sunset. My day has been changed because my friend texted me a picture of the sunset and it is beautiful and I thought, this world is beautiful sometimes. My friend brought me back to paying attention to the beautiful world. And that's what the poet can do. As a poet, it's your job to text people pictures of the sunset. I'm not saying that strictly, but I'm saying that as a metaphor because it's way too easy to fall into routines. You need somebody to say, whoop, 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 whoop. That's the role of the poet for me. There's a saying about a haiku or a poem being a finger pointing at the moon, right? You're trying to show people the, the moon. You're trying to get people to look at the moon. Five and a half years ago, I read Walt Whitman and it changed my life. Walt Whitman made me appreciate my life more actively than I had ever appreciated before. Walt makes you step back and say, the world is wonderful. This whole thing that's going on is wonderful. Pay attention to what is going on with the with life. When Walt Whitman did that to me, there was a fire lit up inside of me. From then on, that is my purpose in life. To bring that about in other people. To point the finger at the moon for people. And the internet is the most effective finger pointing at the moon that we have ever had. I could text people just a reminder, remember to look at the sunset this evening. I could tweet that and effortlessly reach thousands of people now. Of course, I built that up slowly, but I built it up myself. Sir, the moon, that's my job. That's my fucking job. I'm interested in marketing, but I'm mainly interested in marketing the moon. Do you love the light of the moon, sir? And if you don't, can I continue? Sometimes the stuff I do just approaches straight up humor. Sometimes the stuff I do approaches just straight up spirituality or self-help. And yet, the label poet is what speaks to me the most. The purpose of the bard is my purpose. That's what I am here to do as a human being. I believe that. And so that's why I'm gonna keep calling myself a poet. Even if I'm only on YouTube and Twitter and Vine and I don't even write poems on the page anymore. It doesn't matter because I'm coming at it with that purpose. I am the bar. I am the poet. And to be a poet while the internet exists. Mmm! Man, we got an opportunity. You know that Walt Whitman would die for this. That Walt Whitman would be on TweetDeck kicking his legs up and going hard.